Zors Multiprog does what others can't. IMMO off Hyundai Sim 2K, 241 Easy. Welcome back to the channel, where we turn complex car diagnostics into easy-to-follow guides you'll actually enjoy. Before we dive in, let me ask you this. Did you know that most tools can read the Hyundai Sim 2K, 241 ECU, but can't perform a true IMMO off on it without extra steps or tools? If you already knew that, drop a comment below and flex that knowledge. If not, no worries because you're about to learn something that might just blow your mind. Now, before we really roll into today's breakdown, I just want to say this. You've probably watched a few videos here and there, right? Maybe even found them useful? Then do me this quick favor that keeps the channel running. Tap that subscribe button, ring the bell so you don't miss new content, and hey, let's go for something big. Can we hit 1,000 likes and 100 comments in the next 24 hours? If you're learning something new today, smash that like button and share this video with someone who works on Hyundai or Kia vehicles. And if you're feeling extra supportive, consider dropping a super thanks. It means the world and helps us keep producing high quality content for you. All right, let's get into today's topic. How to perform a full IMMO OFF on a Hyundai slash Kia Continental Sim 2K 241 ECU using the Zorce Multiprog, and you won't need any other tools. Seriously, just this one. Now, if you've ever tried working on a Sim 2K 241 using other popular tools like Fox Flash, FC200, or the Obstar DC706, you already know the drill. They'll let you read and write the ECU in boot mode without much issue. But when it comes to actually turning off the immobilizer function, they fall short. You'll need a separate tool or workaround. Enter the Zorce Multiprog. This device not only reads and writes the SIM 2K 241, but it also handles IMMO off within the software. And guess what? It's not just limited to the SIM 2K 241. It also supports IMMO off for SIM 2K 140 and SIM 2K 341 all internally. That's a serious time saver. So let's walk through the entire process, step by step, in a way that's smooth, clear, and totally doable. Even if this is your first time messing with one of these ECUs. We're going to use a Hyundai Elantra as our working model, specifically one with a Continental Sim 2K 241 ECU. First things first, fire up your multi-prog software. Select the model and the ECU from the drop-down list. It's a straightforward menu. Now, Here's where it gets technical, but don't worry, I'll walk you through it. You'll need to check the boot mode wiring diagram provided in the software. This diagram shows exactly where to connect P1, P2, and P3. Those are your key boot pins. Connect your multi-prog using the MCU adapter and make sure everything is snug and secure. Once connected, begin by reading and saving the INT EEPROM data. Then go ahead and read and save the INT flash data as well. These two files are your ECU's inner DNA, and you'll need them to carry out the IMMO off procedure properly. Now, navigate over to the tool tab. This is where the magic happens. You're going to activate the IMMO off function. But here's the twist. There's no exact SIM 2K 241 option listed. Don't panic. Instead, choose SIM 2K 341 with the part number 30134. Dash 2G810. This acts as a substitute model and works just fine for this operation. Before proceeding, make sure your multi-prog supports the exact firmware version of the ECU you're working on. That's critical. Next, load the INT EEPROM file you just saved. Hit the turn off the IMMO button and confirm by pressing OK. The software will generate a new IMMO OFF file for you. Save that file. Then load it back into the system and write the modified data to the ECU. Once that's done, congratulations. IMMO off is complete. No secondary tools, no sketchy workarounds, just one clean workflow. And that's how the Zorce Multiprog pulls off something that most other tools simply can't. Clean, simple, effective. Honestly, it's a real game changer for Hyundai slash Kia ECUs, especially for those working in diagnostics or ECU repair. Now I want to hear from you. What's your go-to tool for immobilizer functions? Have you tried the multi-prog yet? Do you think it's worth switching to if you haven't? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And don't forget to share this video with someone who works with ECUs. 
it might just save them a ton of time. Here's my take. When a tool combines versatility, power, and simplicity like this, it earns a permanent spot on the workbench. But hey, do you agree? Or do you think there's something even better out there? Let's debate in the comments. And remember the question from earlier. Did you know that most tools can't do IMMO OFF on the SIM 2K 241 without help from a second device? If you said yes, props to you. But if this was news, now you're armed with the knowledge. And knowledge saves time, money, and stress. So, let's wrap this up. If this video helped you or even just gave you an idea for your next diagnostic job, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and leave a comment sharing your experience or asking a question. Don't forget, we're aiming for 1,000 likes and 100 comments in 24 hours. Can you help us hit that milestone? Thanks so much for watching. You've been awesome, and I'll catch you in the next one. Until then, stay curious, stay learning, and as always, happy diagnosing.